anxious? I would never call it scared. Scared is the wrong word because scared implies fear or doubt. There's definitely anxiousness. That like there's that moment like, all right, here we go. Yeah, are my nerves gonna get me, or am I gonna am I gonna overcome this this anxiousness? Walking out to the ring, it kind of everything fades away. Like I said, you hear that music, you get up there, the people cheer your name, and just kind of there's no turning back. If you have doubt in your mind at that point, then then you've already lost the fight. Once you step into that ring that area becomes yours and like you just become the, the owner of that spot and then it's your chance to show everybody that you belong there and it's your spot. You're not gonna let anyone take that moment for you. So 26 year old Kai Hollenbeck fighting for the first time since undergoing surgery on his right knee that he injured in his loss to Giorgio Petrosian last November at Glory 3 in Rome, Italy. In that fight he learned that he needs to calm down in the ring, control himself, then control his opponent. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up, three rounds. Burn the bell, and away we go. Hollenbeck took this fight in just one and a half weeks. And notice that Hollenbeck standing his ground here in round one. A great start. Kraus has been unable to really establish any kind of offensive attack against Hollenbeck. All three judges score about 30-27 for your winner. When I got my hand raised, it was definitely awesome. I mean, it was a, one of the best feelings ever. I had a feeling like that, that uh, it was kind of like cathartic, you know, like that, that emotional release of just like, uh, all this led to this and it all paid off. All the training, all the rehab, leading up to the fight, taking it on short notice, all this stuff, like all these emotions going on and then getting your hand raised kind of it washes everything away. Like, uh, it's done now, that was all worth it. You can see it when, I, when, when they call my name in the fight. I, there's just this sigh of relief and like my eyes closed, my hands raised. Like, it's just this moment of, of pure, like, happiness. It's awesome. So the fighter that went and fought Petrosian, the old guy, uh, he was anxious and really overly, overly aggressive and maybe even a little too confident in his, in his abilities to, to, shock, to shock the world or to do his, like, tricky, crazy stuff and have it pay off. When I, when I got hurt, I was upset, but I didn't know the extent of how, how bad my knee was hurt. I ended up getting overextended. Uh, I, uh, I dropped him with a, with a hook that kind of knocked him to his knee. He jumped back up and threw uh, a hook at me because I overextended and threw a punch. I went down and as I fell, uh, my leg got caught underneath myself and, and I'm pretty sure that's where I tore my, tore, my, tore my ACL. But I didn't feel it until the second round. I was definitely way more devastated when I made it home and they, they MRI'd it and found out it was a torn ACL and it was going to be at least a nine month recovery. I couldn't fight, so I had to figure out something else to do like to pass the time. It was good in a sense because it kind of forced me to reassess the way that I was training, the way I was fighting, and the, the things I was doing, and uh, really reevaluate how I was going to come back. It was kind of a, a revamping of my whole style and everything, and kind of a, a chance for me to start over. It kind of it sucked me in having to, having to start over, but it was gave me a chance to, to reinvent myself. Now I'm a little bit more grounded, a little bit more technical with some of the things I'm throwing. Still have to have that 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 edge, that kind of that I've always had to kind of set me apart. But uh, I'm definitely less aggressive, less uh, talk show, more uh, set and, and methodical about what I'm doing. Uh, having actually having a solid game plan instead of just going out there and being like, I'm gonna wing it and see what happens. Actually having a set game plan and making sure that I execute that game plan properly. Fight November 23rd in Madison Square Garden, New York City, and the Glory 12. Make sure you tune in and catch a great show on Spike. People, uh, people in the U.S. that love MMA, it's a, uh, it's huge in America. If you like it because of the striking, which most people do, then Glory is the one to see because that's all it is. It's all striking all the time at a, at a much higher level than all these MMA guys. Check it out because it's going to be one hell of a show.